What's up, collectors? In this one, we're going to take a look at The Alien Queen by Mega Constructs, a Black Series set which has 232 pieces for ages 16 and up. We're going to start by taking a quick look at this box, and we'll check the back. As you can see, here's the queen. She's the only part, uh, only character that comes in this set, but if you purchase these other eggs, which I have here on the desk with me, you can pick up little alien xenomorphs to go with the queen. And I'll show you the size comparison once we get into the video. This set retails for $30 and can be found at Walmart. I'm not sure if there's anywhere else to find it, but that's probably the best place. First, we're gonna take a look at the alien queen herself. As you can see, they built her so that she stands on these two smaller terrain pieces. And uh, she's built with tons of ball joints. The build was maybe a little complicated, maybe not really. I think she's the equivalent of like a Mega Constructs Bionicle probably with the way that they built her. She's very detailed though, and you can move so many parts of her. So you can see each little uh, spine and the tail is movable. You have tons of joints in the leg. You have the one up there, and then you have the foot joint. This is a uh, solid, so that won't bend there. But she's got the two hip joints. She's got the shoulder joint, the elbow joint. She's got little uh, joints for these hands. She's got a joint for this face here, so you can move it up or down. She's got the tongue that's sticking out already. She's got two more joints here in the neck, one for the head, uh, at towards the top and then one at the base of her neck and overall I mean she's very well articulated you can do all kinds of displays with her and uh, so I set up with just a couple for reference I mean here's the egg that they come in obviously that's out of scale but you can see this is what little xenomorph uh, aliens look like in comparison to her size so uh, they're quite small in comparison I'm not sure how scale to scale that is with the movies I don't quite remember I'm guessing she's a little big maybe maybe she's small I couldn't tell you to be honest, but I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, if you remember the Halo series, or not Halo, but the Mega Constructs Heroes like wave, the Black Series waves, the first wave came with, I think, a Xenomorph that was bloody, and it came with the Colonial Marine, and uh, those are very hard to find. I know the Colonial Marine's worth like $30 now on the aftermarket, so probably you're not going to find any good guys from that universe to fight the Alien Queen, but you can definitely use your Halo guys, like your Halo Marines, to fight, and here you see, I mean... They look pretty similar, and I'm sure you could kit them up so they look like the Colonial Marines, and if not, they look good anyway as army soldiers to fight the, the aliens. And of course, we can uh, put a flame trooper there against the alien queen. That might be very accurate to some of the movies, although it doesn't look like he's going to have a big effect. Anyway, with that, I just wanted to show this off quickly, collectors. For $30, you can get a pretty classic sci-fi horror villain, the alien queen. She's a pretty good build. She doesn't have a ton of pieces, and I know if you're a piece to price like ratio person that it's not your 10 uh, cents per piece or whatever but she stands pretty impressively and she has a lot of articulation so you can pose her however you want and she'd make a fine addition to anybody's display cases or shelves with that i'll see you in the next one collectors happy hunting